today and I'm very excited to develop our television ideas and to listen to Chris Vogler lead us through the writer's journey and uh, I just have great expectations for what's going to happen. I'm here to, because I want to write something I would like to watch. First feeling is uh, place with a uh, lot of energy. It's uh, full of uh, good vibrations. I haven't been in a class, I don't know, in 20 years maybe, maybe more. So, so this is really good. One thing that is great about the Puglia experience is that um, writers come up with a proposal for a project and then um, the people who run the film commission actually take them around to various locations where their projects could be filmed, um, which is not an opportunity we ever get um, normally. It, to be, we have to imagine in our heads where our projects might be filmed, but to actually get a chance to travel around and have location managers find us places we can shoot our projects so that all of these students can shoot their projects has been a real gift. This program could be an amazing experience for, for a writer. As a television writer who's been doing this for 25 years, I can say that not many writers get an opportunity to work this intensively um, with professional writers who are, we're just here to make sure that your idea is good and we hope that you sell it, we want you to sell it, um, and to come up with something really, you know, really exciting to, to have on television somewhere. The thing that distinguishes this workshop from other workshops that I've participated in is the kind of intensity and length of it and also the fact uh, that there are a number of advisors and there are quite a large group of writers and the writers have a lot of formal but also informal time with the writers and that is always a great opportunity because a lot of the best discussions take place informally. But the writers are also working with each other. We've encouraged the writers to work with each other and to develop their judgment about providing feedback to each other. The only way to really learn writing is to experience it and to have that input from people who have done the work as well. And that's probably the most influential thing in my whole career was to learn to work collaboratively with other people. I think this is a, a really unusual, unique experience for the writers because they can focus on this one story but be fed by the other writers. You know, we have 16 people and uh, a group of experts who are guiding them and uh, the beautiful thing I've seen is how we all help each other. Uh, this is, there's no competition, no feeling that one is uh, fighting to be the best. Uh, everybody wants to help everybody else and that's a wonderful thing that I think I see in the culture of Puglia is a, a, a sense of community and trying to work together to make the place better. I am always looking ahead and I think that uh, we started something here. There's an energy that builds year by year, we're really creating something here. Uh, we've spent three weeks 
chasing our stories and uh, writing our truths. We come back in February, renewed, uh, to find the, the pilot episodes of our TV series. Uh, and then we'll be um, pitching them to producers from all over the world. And hopefully, we'll be making some TV series right here in Puglia uh, in 2015. The pitching part of this is very different than the writing process. And uh, I've got Claire Dobbin, I've got Don Presswich, I've got Nicole Yorkin, I've got Ellen Sandler, and I've got the great Chris Vogler. They're all here as part of the advisors. Each one of them brings enormous experience to the table. Uh, Don and Nicole uh, responsible for The Killing and many, many television series. Ellen Sandler did a million episodes of uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. Chris Vogler wrote the great books on structure and character and uh, the writer's journey. Um, so each one of them brings something to the table uh, in how to tell a story in 10 minutes or less, or how to pitch your story, how to sell your characters, how to sell your world, how to sell your concept, which is not what you wrote in the script. So it's a very um, ambitious uh, program we're doing, and uh, it's admirable that the, the Puyo Film Commission is enabling this to happen for the first time, maybe in the world. We may be creating a new sales market here. We may be creating the new can with the new Mifed, the new, you know, uh, Bernanal for writers. will be all about uh, public speaking and being like self-confident, acting self-confident, uh, acting as people having all the answers for the producers, uh, which is something that I never did, so I look forward to do it. You challenge with your story, you love your story because you create it, and, uh, and you have to do everything you can to support it. To, to sell it. I'm so happy and grateful that the pitching is over. <laughs> and um, that was intense. But it's done now and I'm, I survived, so. I'm really enjoying it. I didn't enjoy pitching just there. I found that terrifying. But that's good, because then you face your fear and next time you, you hopefully pitch a bit better. The best part of being a writer is the fact that you work behind the camera, not in front of the camera. But then, if you want to tell a story, you have, a tell, you have to tell it. There is no other way. So the whole thing about the pitching, it's making me more nervous, but I don't know, I have to do it and I will. I am a producer, so I've had the uh, fairly easy job, I guess, of just listening to people telling their stories. It's been fantastic to hear these stories. You know, they're based here in the um, Italian region and um, that gives them a real distinction and uniqueness for me. And it's very challenging to think about the way in which these stories could actually work for an Australian audience. And um, all of them could, all of them could work really well in Australia. great experience getting to um, hear stories from different voices around the world and um, I learned as much from the writers as hopefully they learned from me. I had a really great time at the um, at the event at the Pulia experience. I think that I gotta be honest, it's probably one of the more impressive, uh, well-prepared pitches that I've heard in quite some time. And I've been to festivals, I've been to different programs that are organized all around the world. Um, and this one I just thought was extremely well thought out. I think the advisors did an amazing job prepping everyone within the several weeks that they had to be able to come up with ideas from scratch. I thought that was extremely impressive. Uh, not only that, I mean, I never would have thought uh, this amount of 
resources available to everyone available here in Italy. So it was quite honestly very eye-opening for both me and my colleague. And uh, you know, I think uh, we definitely plan to do more exciting things here. And I hope, I hope honestly to be able to come back next year. I was like, this was a lot of fun. So um, I, I was really happy with it. I, I was really impressed. It's very good to be back here uh, and to have uh, had the chance to have time at home to uh, develop a full script so we can uh, get into more details about the story and, and really get into the details of the dialogue, of the scenes. Being here is like a, a very good chance to find the authenticity of this place. It's very inspiring for our stories. In the case of this experience, it's much more collaborative, it's much more facilitation rather than tutoring or teaching. It feels more like colleagues working together on a common project rather than here's my work, I submit it, I get a mark and I keep trying again. So that's a very adult way, I believe, of, of providing education. It's a much more enjoyable experience, certainly from, from my point of view. I think that thanks to Jim, Claire, Ellen, Dom, and all the other screenwriters, colleagues and friends that I've had here, uh, my project will see the light. I hope really to succeed and bring some project over here in Apulia and, and do something. I'm very happy to be here again. In the first part, we developed a story that it was in our minds, but it still wasn't on the page. But now we have it here. I mean, it's a physical uh, script. It's a really rare opportunity to work with some real masters of the craft and collaborate and uh, and really find your voice. It's, a, it's an incredible experience. I found it very exciting, the whole idea of an international group of writers coming together. So I think it's very valuable for writers to have input from other people. We work so alone so much of the time in our head. So um, that's a very exciting aspect to a workshop situation for writers. I think a workshop like this um, can be a great experience for writers so the opportunity to um, you know work with experienced writers and um, to be able to figure out um, and be able to be taught how to write a television pilot either 30 minutes or 60 minutes is um, I think a great opportunity for people I think I'm taking away a real a real love for the region uh, for Puglia and really just this group of people what a fabulous group of writers they're so dedicated and talented and I think that's what I'm taking away is I'm impressed I'm just really impressed with these people with the film commission and with Puglia. I have come to love Bari which I had not really spent any time in before I started working doing these projects for the Apulia Film Commission and of course it's um, the hidden gem of Italy and uh, very, very wonderful. The funny thing is we all recognize something here of ourselves. Uh, you know, uh, maybe it's something like St. Nicholas, uh, which everybody knows in the States from Santa Claus, but we find here, here's the origin of all that. So I'm surprised by these things, by how uh, this world in Puglia exists uh, and overlaps with my world in ways that I never expected. It's great. Thank you, Puglia. Are you experienced? I think the answer is yes. Thank you.